Uh, all right. Hey, welcome, everybody. So, hey, here's here's the deal. Uh, Shane is joining me just so that way I don't just sit here and talk to myself like a lunatic. Hi, Shane. Thanks for Hello. being here. Um, so today I'm going to I'm going to play around with Simple Sat and I'm going to try and set this up so that way I can utilize Simple Sat and my synchro. Um, for those of you that don't know what Simple Sat is, it is basically like a CSAT or NPS survey type thing. How'd we do? Thumbs up, thumbs down, simple, right? So I'm gonna come in here to surveys. I'm gonna I'm gonna edit this survey and I'm gonna archive it because that's probably like I don't know a year or two old. Whenever I did the last Simple Sat webinar, that's that's when that's from. All right. <laughs> So uh, we'll do a CSAT. Good job keeping that up to date, Steve. Yeah, thank you, thank mm -hmm. you. So um, let's see, how did we do? I think that's that's cool. Um, I like the animated ones. What what do you like? So when 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 people get like the tickets closed, resolve ticket, whatever. I'll probably do something like that. It'll be, uh, hey, we, you know, we resolved this ticket. How'd we do? Um, do you think the animated ones are cool, Shane? Sure. All right, Shane is on board with the animated ones, oh, but I'm I'm torn. Do I want the thumbs up or the kitty? Uh, I say the cat. I I'm kind of right there with you. <laughs> and then look, you can give them like. <laughs> You can give them more. I feel like this is going to give them choice overload. I'd rather give them fewer. Mm. I feel like great or bad is is okay. But but this one might be better. Like you did okay, but not great. Mm -hmm. I don't know because I I feel like it would be helpful for me to know like yeah I did it, but I could have done better. Right. So, I mean, what are your thoughts? Would would well, you let's would see you the be the guy that does all five? Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. Well, let's do all five then. Let's let's do that. Um. All right. So, follow up question: We're sorry to have let you down. How could we improve? Can you share your experience and how we could have done a little better? Was there anything in particular we did that delighted you? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna leave those. That's fine. Yep save all right my survey has been updated configure survey name synchro csat survey all right so this here i've got the instructions to um to get the two talking so let's see create your survey we're going to do a generic embed. We can't do that. Ooh, but I can do this. I like this. So I'll do a review us on Facebook. And then I'm going to open up facebook.com slash rocket MSP slash reviews. That's where I want it to go. All right. Uh, I don't care about having anything else in that list. What are your thoughts? I mean, I, I would do Google reviews if I cared about my Google right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just not there. No? Oh, wait. This is for Taylor IT, not Rocket MSP. Right. I was going to ask about that. Now, why don't you care about Google? T Taylor IT group, I care about Google. Okay. Um, what is it? My business. So I'll come in here to Taylor IT. And then there's the reviews section. That must not be where I get it home. Get more reviews, share review form. This is the link. So Google's actually giving people the link now so you can get more reviews, which I think is genius. 
So I'm happy with that. I don't have a ticket URL prefix right now. Maybe I will. I don't know. But it says create a survey and we're going to come in here to publish. Integrate with another tool, generic embed. Hmm. Do I want negative to positive or positive to negative? Mm, negative to positive. I thought so. All right. Enter the synchro placeholders. Okay, so team member ID. So they even give you the placeholders here so that you can do this. Unfortunately, Synchro hasn't broken down these placeholders like further. So there's, there's some missing, which is unfortunate. All right, so now I can do a little copy here. And I'm going to come in here to my admin. PDF email templates. Oh, it's right here. I assume it's an email template. So I would want to do this for like resolved ticket. Nope, there is no resolved. So how on earth? Do they say what type in, in the uh, survey tool, do they say what uh, type of ticket you should apply it to? They just say, put it in whatever template you want to use, uh -huh. which is a, a little vague. Right. So I wonder if I come into templates, what's a ticket template? That looks like a ticket, almost like an invoice. So that's interesting. All right, so whoops email templates. So I don't see a way to like make a new template. Hmm. Um, automatically when, when the email in, <clears throat> I'm gonna look on my side. Since I just happen to have a synchro account laying around. I bet what I need to do is have some kind of automation. It might be. So let me look here. Preferences, issue types. So let's make a new status. Complete send survey. I don't like that resolved is way up there. So I'm going to move these around anyway, because reasons. I'm going to make a waiting for vendor because I kind of need that. Schedule customer reply. All 
All right, so I made my new thing. So if I come in here to automation, I'll make a new ticket automation and I'll have this be send survey. And the condition will be ticket status is complete send survey, add a new action, email customer contact, I don't like this because now I can't edit the. I, I can't edit the HTML. You right? say you do like it? I said I don't like this. Hmm. Available template tags. I mean, HTML should work in there, right? I don't know. I think it would. You could test one on yourself. That's probably the smart thing to do, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, what I'll do is instead of emailing customer contact, I'm going to email custom address to Steve at Taylor IT Group. Do you not have yourself a, your own company set up in Synchro with uh a... I probably do. I'm just going to do this, though. It just makes me feel better. As long as you feel good, Steve. See, look at that. I'm not in a customer contact. Good thing I just told it to send it to me. And we'll set this as complete send survey. All right, so I got my ticket created. I got my Woot. You know what I didn't do is Tell it to change the status. Mm-hmm. Now you did. I'm going to add one more action and tell it to change status to resolved, save. All right, so it's scheduled. Complete send survey. Oh, so this runs like at a specific time, I wonder how frequently that runs. So I'll hit run now so I can test it. That's really cool that they give you that. You can just run it. Hey, it worked. Did you it were work? right. You were right. What's it look like? Excuse 
excuse me. That's it. That's it. Well, that's all I. That's all I put in there. Hmm. Because remember, all I did was paste in that HTML. So okay. then if somebody clicks this, it takes them here. Takes them where? So then they click that, they type in something. Uh, your feedback helps us. That's it. What happened to my... Uh, Leave me a review. I don't know. And your cats aren't very, I mean, there's no description next to your cats either. I was expecting like a description. So. I think your survey needs work. You listen here. <laughs> so when I clicked on that, it took me to this. And. I guess my assumption was that after I sent this feedback, it would then say, hey, would you like to leave us a review on Google or Facebook? Mm. Let's see. But she had ad block turned on too, right? Yeah, I just disabled that. Nothing. Hmm. All right, so it's literally just icon size. That's all we can change. That's it? Yeah. Hmm. And then if I come here to configure, I somehow managed to not save this. Right. That might be the problem. Okay. Oh, ticket URL prefix I am pretty sure that is all I need to be giving it yeah like this here I mean it is giving you a preview this is exactly what it's adding okay so now what I'm going to do is edit this a little more. So let's see if I come in here to admin. I'm going to go to email templates and ticket comment. So I'm going to copy this. update from for your ticket <sighs> this would just be so much easier if I could just make a new template and use that template on specific types of ticket emails. Mm -hmm. All 
I wonder if I put it Here, what would happen? <laughs> Completed. Um, that's now. Wait a minute. Check your because you had it. It's uh, completed. Shouldn't it be complete? Send survey. If I use this drop down here, uh, it completed. And then hit. That's not working. That didn't do anything that I expected it to do. Maybe I don't understand how canned responses work. I just assumed that this here was part of the canned response. <clears throat> These are the canned responses. I don't have a good feeling about that one. <laughs> it looks beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's awful. So Yeah, that's really frustrating. The only other thing I could think to, that people might do is adding it to like every freaking ticket email and that would be awful yeah you wouldn't want to do that until it's resolved yeah you really wouldn't i don't want somebody's opinion when i haven't fixed something yet right sometimes you don't want it even after you've fixed it it's very true <laughs> all right you have an update from account name for your ticket number Ticket is marked as resolved. This might be a end up being a synchro question. It might. Because it seems like this should be possible, you know? And you, well, I mean, you did get, have it working. You did what you wanted. What are you, what are you expecting different now, I guess? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to clean it up right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to set this as 
complete send survey. And then I will run now. So that doesn't automatically run. I got to look. I believe that. it does. I'm going to I'm going to check with them. All right. So now you're going to see something hideous in here. I don't want you to freak out. I'll explain it. But you got to let me explain it first. All right. So um, it looks like a, a ticket email. So hi, Steve Taylor. You have an update from Taylor IT Group for your ticket. The ticket is marked as resolved. How did we do? And then after that, I put all of the public comments. So this one here is that awful comment where I tried adding, but then it shows you um, all of these other comments that I added. Mm -hmm. And I suspect if the customer replied, those are also public comments. So I would yeah. get those too. Mm -hmm. So I think I like this. I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> thoughts uh well i mean i guess assuming you you wouldn't have all that html in a public comment on on future tickets that was correct just a, because i literally i this is the comment that i i did that was from a canned response that was that canned response i tried and and we both were like Ugh. yeah so you'd you'd take that out that canned response out i just would never use it i've never used a canned response yet okay so well, you wouldn't want to use that one for sure. That's, that's very <laughs> true. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I wonder uh, if I come here, I, I can delete this canned response here. Yeah. And it does show me that it ran some ticket automation as well. I like that. I like that the ticket automation shows up. I know other PSAs do that too. I just... Uh, this is the first time I've, I've really looked at a ticket that had automation. So mm -hmm. it's, it's and you just delightful to see. I know that you don't have to do the run now um, because I have, I have a ticket automation that, that happens without me having to click that. So. Um, gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> well, and the only reason I was hitting the run now is because I wanted results right now. I, I just wanted to see it work. Very I suspect the, the ticket, <laughs> well, I suspect the ticket automation is what, like every minute, five minutes, something like that, right? Um, you, you might, you might be right about that. Maybe it, maybe it takes a minute. It will run a maximum of 10 times a ticket. That's good to know. It doesn't actually tell us how, fr oh, set up an automation and then every hour or so they will run on all of your open tickets. They will try to match some rules and then do an action. They don't run on the hour, but they will run every hour. Okay. So that's good to know. So if, if you're expecting a ticket automation to uh, do your, your first response for you on a ticket and you want it to like, after this ticket's been open for 10 minutes, I want to, Hey, got your, got your thing. We'll start working on it this afternoon. Kind of, you know, that, that way you can, you can check the box or as, as my friends like to say, that's like half checking the box, you know, like, because it's, it's not real. It's ticket automation doing it, but you do get to check the box of first response, you know, mm -hmm. I, but, but this won't give you a, a great first response. Cause if it's only going to run every hour, um, then you could have, some tickets waiting 59 minutes and some tickets will do it after one minute and so well no because if you tell it the ticket has to have been opened and and in new status for a minimum 10 minutes then it could potentially be a minute an hour and 49 minutes that the ticket's been open. so so i guess what i'm saying is don't use um 
don't use ticket automations for something that needs to be critical because it's only going to happen once an hour. Uh, yeah. And if, and and I if think that's an issue, then you should you should let Synchro know that it needs to be faster. But I feel like for most things, an hour should be plenty, right? Uh, sure. But I mean, like, if, so if they open a ticket by sending you an email, they're going to get a response quicker than an hour through yes. automation, just not Absolutely. through that particular I'm just talking part of, about of Synchro. This right here, the ticket yeah, yeah. automation. I understand. So if I want to make a new automation, any day now. And if Crystal sees this video, she's going to be like, Crystal's Wish I was there out. to set these guys straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I don't even know, like, what else do I want to automate? Like, I don't really do all that much in here, and I feel like a bozo. What? Uh... So, okay, due dates passed. Yes. Add new condition. Ticket status is waiting on customer. Add a new action. Email customer contact subject. Waiting on you, bruh. That's a terrible idea. Wait. Um, <laughs> so wait. <laughs> your, you ticket, I mean, like, your ticket due date is passed, so you're gonna pass the the onus off to the customer and be like, hey man. If if it's uh, waiting on customer, <laughs> if it's waiting oh, okay, on okay, the conditions, yes. Yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I have I have the perfect customer first name. <laughs> Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ticket, ticket number, ticket subject. Reached out to you and haven't heard back. Is this still an issue that needs resolved? I don't know. I'm just playing around. Obviously, this stuff is going to need tweaked, but I'm not going to sit here and spend um, 20 minutes worrying about the way I've worded things with you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Thanks. don't think that this is going to be the final product. Okay, guys, <laughs> just, just okay. don't panic. Everything's okay. Where's your towel? All right. Um, all right. So, autumn, oh, I got to rename this, I guess. So this can be called um, over uh, ticket overdue waiting on customer. And then I could see having a, a new one ticket overdue waiting on parts and, and so on and so forth. And, and you could absolutely have like all of these automations where, you know, you're just letting people know that, Hey, I still know this is here. I haven't forgotten you, but yeah. That's good. But idea, I think, actually. I think I've, digressed um a little bit but because we're really here to talk about simple sat right now right and uh what i will tell you is if i go to my main dashboard let's make this go away uh you see here look on uh 19 minutes ago i got a smiley face how'd we do number five absolutely amazing and i did my freaking job, mm -hmm. according to that customer. It was me. 
So now, did you do another test and actually get the Google and Facebook review links? Uh, good looking out. So I'm going to share this. So I, don't know, I feel like I could have done better because I sent an email with all that weird gibberishy code. And yeah. what's that even mean? Who does that, right? I often feel like you could have done better, Steve. All right. So send feedback and nothing. Sadness. <laughs> I'm filled with sadness. <laughs> You, you can answer the same survey more than once? Uh, technically, that is a different survey. Oh, okay. Edit survey, configure, has the call to action. Oh, you know why? Mm, don't know. Because I we didn't do things the, all that great. I got, I got a meh. Uh, you you don't want a review from a meh. Right. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to send those to to Google or Facebook. <laughs> so if it's neutral, sure to keep that could, internal. Huh? There, yeah. So so this is <laughs> this is positive, and then there's negative. So yeah, you don't want people having call to action buttons on neutral and positive. So let me. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Please do let a, the world know. <laughs> we do a blue cat. <laughs> And boom, uh -huh. that there I like go. much better. I like right. much better. <clears throat> so I, uh, I feel, I feel good. Uh, so what, what do you think, Shane? It's awesome, Steve. Well, best, I, best thing I've seen all day. Oh, no, I'm, I'm serious. What do you, what do you think? Like, I feel like, this could use some some polish on both sides. One, um, I feel like Simple Sat should give us the ability to, if we want, explain what these mean. I mean, they're they're little cute little animated cats. Like, yeah. it should be pretty obvious what they mean. One looks pretty angry, and one looks pretty thrilled and delighted. Right. Right. I think that they. I think. I, I agree with what you're saying. I think that it, it should give your customer the same explanation that it gave you when you were building the survey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it just said, uh, like down in the bottom, uh, awful, amazing. Like it, it doesn't yeah. have to explain each one, but if there was something beneath them, just kind of giving us, here's a range. Mm -hmm. I think or, that would be really, really helpful. Or some um, alt text too would be great. Yes, because right now if I hover over this, my current email solution is not showing me if it's telling me, uh, it, like I, I don't see anything when I hover over it in my mm -hmm. email. I don't mm -hmm. know if I'm supposed to. Now, what I could do is simply change this to two of them right you know it's either good or bad right i feel like green and red's pretty obvious yep and i i think that might even be the safest way to go for now when i feel like um sometimes people aren't the smartest oh, could you customize it through html like i mean they give you html to to paste into your template, right? I'm curious if if you could edit that HTML to to do all um, those things you want. I don't see why not. I I mean it is it is just HTML like you said. So I can come in here and absolutely change this stuff. Um Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it does have alt tags. Bad, I'm unsatisfied. And okay. let's be 
being hosted at a CDN.